Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you how you can change Apple ID two-factor authentication number on your iPhone or iPad device. So now let's get started how you can do that. So first of all, you will have to sign out your Apple ID from your iPhone device and try to sign in again on your iPhone device. Then here you'll need to tap on sign in manually. So after that here, you'll have to put your Apple ID Gmail account, then tap on continue. So after that here, you'll need to put your Apple ID password, then tap on done. So here you can see that it's asking me for two-factor authentication. So if you want to change Apple ID two-factor number, then here you will need to have on did not get a verification code. Then you will see this type of interface here. You will need to have on cannot use this number. Then here you will need to have on start account recovery. So after that here you will have to put your old mobile phone number. Then tab on continue. So after that here you will need to tab on continue anyway. So after that here it's asking me to send a code to your Gmail account. So here you will need to tab on send code. It will send a six digit code to your Apple ID Gmail account. And then here you will have to minimize this. And then after that you will need to open your Gmail account. So here tap on this then here you'll have to copy this and paste there then here you will have to wait for a few minutes then here you will have to select your country code so of that here you'll have to enter your new mobile phone number which you want to attach with your apple id or which you want to change with your apple id so here I'm going to enter new mobile phone number, which I want to attach with my Apple ID. Then tap on here, you will have to select your text message, then it will verify. Then after verification, your Apple ID two-factor number will be changed to this number. So in this way, you can change your Apple ID two-factor mobile phone number on your iPhone or iPad device. So this is the way through which you can do that. So that's it from this video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.